This episode is sponsored by Native. Native's deodorant is now available in plastic free. Native's plastic free deodorant is the same formula as the regular deodorant, but with more sustainable packaging. There's no plastic used, and 1% of plastic free deodorant sales are donated to environmental nonprofits. If you use my link and code BABISH, you'll get three plastic free deodorants for $24, which is 40% off. The link is in the video description. Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Botched by Babish, where this week, not that it's a weekly show, comes out once every three weeks or so when I feel like making it. Don't zoom in on me. It's too early for that, Brad. It's, it's 3.15. It's what we do. It's, it's the middle of the day. day. Okay. Back it out. Thank you. Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Botched by Babish with this very special New Year's episode. First episode of 22. I'm going back and taking a look at a dish that I could not master. This is Meat Getty and Spag Balls from American Dad. Instead, I put it to you, the viewers, can you make a palatable version of Meat Getty and Spag Balls? And hundreds of you answered the call, but only one could be crowned champion. That champion, August Bratz, AKA from scratch.77, an Instagram user who made the food and I liked it. So now we're going to bring his dish to life by making it ourselves to see, did it, was it, did win. Can, can I can I zoom in now? No. So now the first thing we have to do. No, no, no. We are starting with the beef. We are starting. With <laughs> how do you want to do it? I'm ready. We're starting with the beef. What we have here is brisket. This is what Mr. August Rush, August Bratz. Uh, <laughs> Kendall's favorite movie, August Rush. Wait, what is your favorite movie? It's definitely Stardust. Stardust? <laughs> no, but maybe. So, we have ourselves a big old honk of brisket here. Brisket and flake steak, I think, are gonna be ideal for this application because you have very, very distinct and strong meat fibers in here. These guys are gonna braise and then they're gonna break apart like string cheese, like string beef. Good Lord, is this dry aged? Oh my god. It's got some funk on it. No, you stay still. I come to it. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is trim off all this damn fat. Nobody wants fatty meat getty. Least of all, my fiance, who grew up in Illinois, which is the home of lean meat getty. I have very high standards for this, so you better get it right. Oh, that is some fat. This looks like human fat. Not that I would know what that looks like. Andrew? Mm -hmm. Do you have something to tell us? Oh no, I'm good, thank you. It smells the way I imagine Brad would smell if I had opened him up and trimming the gristle from his well-developed shoulder meat. You think my shoulders are well-developed? Yeah, babe. Thank you. You got the best developed shoulders of anybody I know. Sorry, Sawyer. Sorry, Jess. Sorry, Kendall. I'd still gleefully eat any one of you. You're welcome. We have our brisket here. I'm going to dry brine it per Mr. Bratz instruction. I, is that really his last name or are we just calling him that? Should I ask him? We're going to dry brine the beef. This is generally a great idea virtually always. I can't think of many applications where this would be a bad idea. Ooh, boy. This sweater really shows when anything is on it at all. So it's not ideal for cooking. Don't, wh why? Come on, are you zooming in on my titties? Don't do it. No, just, just one. Just one. <laughs> just one? Just one for today. Okay. You can have one. Ah! So, my man specifies a very specific amount of mirepoix, which I appreciate. All right, that is 125 grams each of carrot and celery and 100 grams of onions. Let's set over the stove top. All right, I'm gonna take five. Stop rolling, for God's sake. This is off camera, this is off the cuff. I'm not, this is, I don't have a script for this part. I have a script right now. Wait, you don't, you, you don't, you forgot to script this part? Well, I didn't memorize my lines yet. I thought you cared about this. Okay, uh, so I have to improvise. You can do this. All right, here, I'll zoom in again and you just hit me with your best shot. Okay. 
Who's ready for some action? You did it. <laughs> All right, you remember your lines? Let's have us a good time. Nailed it. My man sautés his mirepoix in duck fat and oil. So, I have a nice gob of duck fat here, and a little bit of oil, a little bit of olive oil. He sautés the mirepoix in this until it's very, very soft, until it's nice and caramelized, and then he adds some herbs, some garlic, some tomato paste, some stock, etc. What? Sausage. Sausage. Uh, which he crisps up in a separate pan. For life of me, I can't figure out why, especially because like, you know, you could use the sausage fat and live the dough. I'm not gonna question the man's method. He won the contest. I didn't win any contest. He won the contest. All right, mirepoix is going in. It's called mirepoix? Mirepoix. I thought it was mirepoix in the script. We're sauteing up our veg and we're going to brown our sausage. We got two Italian sausages here. They don't look particularly Italian. Where I'm going to brown it up and convert it into bite-sized pieces. Now, I'm going to remove the sausage from its sausage pan. Make sure I get out all the bits because now I'm gonna crank the heat and I'm gonna sear that brisket. Oh, we're skipping so many steps. What are you talking about? Kendall, hang on a second. Your, your script looks different than mine. Don't look at it. I sent her a new copy last night. You didn't, you, you, weren't, you didn't want to check with me? Did I do something wrong? Did you do anything right? Whoa. Oh. All right, I'm gonna sear these guys. Get a little fondant there, thank you. My vegetables are well sauteed. And I'm going to add a few things. I'm going to add, this is a lot of chili flakes. You said a heaping tablespoon. Well, I'm not putting a tablespoon of red pepper flake in this. It'll be too spicy to eat. Okay. All right, fine, I'm gonna do, you know, I'm gonna do it. Okay, yeah, there's the rest of the red pepper flake. Jesus, okay. Add the sausage back in. Tomatoes, chicken stock, and herbs. And now uh, a bouquet garni, prepared in the traditional fashion. What's up with this basil? Do you put basil in the bouquet garni? Okay, all right. Jesus. Oh, Kendall's combative today. More for Kim Bat. Kim Bat. Kim Bat. It doesn't work. Nope. We should just stick to what we do best the script. The script. I touched my eye after touching all those. Uh, Wow. For entertainment value, You're, are you not entertained? That's the script of Gladiator. I always mix You're up. Always getting I always mix up always do our this. script and, and Ridley Scott films, always. <laughs> we got this guy up to a simmer. So now I'm going to drop in our brisket. Make sure it's mostly covered by the liquid because I want a good braise. Then over here, we don't want to miss any of the good stuff in this pan, so drop in some water, scrape up the goods. There we go. Whoa! 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 Ah, no! This guy's a bubbling, so now I'm going to kill the heat. I'm going to carefully drop down our sort of parchment paper lid. And this guy's headed into a 275 degree oven for about three hours or until the beef resembles spaghetti. We'll be right back. It's going well. And we're <laughs> we're moving on to the next part of the meat getty and the spag. Yeah, you were offering that to me, right? Brad? Yeah, so yes, I was. I, Thank you. Folks, the next part of this meat getty and spag balls adventure is the spag balls. And these particular spag balls are really a kind of orzo arancini that are then wrapped in spaghetti, deep fried, and served atop our shredded and twirled meat. What's interesting about August's approach is that he makes the orzo like risotto. So that's a very interesting technique. We're gonna see how it goes. Because orzo, while it looks like rice, is actually just pasta. Kind of like how couscous is really just pasta. Most people think couscous is healthy. It's actually one of the lesser healthy things that you could eat because it's so small, you're getting more pasta per bite than anything. But it's called couscous. But it's called couscous, so it makes it healthier. I'm gonna cut the cheese. Oh! Hey! Get 
I was gonna hey, cut the hey, cheese. Hey, hey, hey. Stop. <laughs> All right, so just like with risotto, I'm going to slowly add stock and stir constantly to try to make a kind of orzo risotto. No, orzo. How do you know when it'll be done? When it's done? How do you know when anything's done? You ask Kendall. Set timers for al dente. Okay. okay, so I think this guy's done braising. So why don't we take him out of the oven? Oh my goodness, it looks like some parchment paper on top of some liquid. But what lies beneath? Ooh, that looks like a competent bolognese. It's got a nice thick layer of fat on top, which I'm gonna skim off. Because nobody, nobody wants a fatty bolognese. I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> Pathetic. This is the important part right here. We have our brisket that's been braised. We have to turn this into meat getty. We can only do this by virtue of one method. You gotta thumb it. I have but to it's thumb too it. Hot now. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. It's fine. Ah! It's too hot. My thumb meat. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at the meat! Ow! No! Look at the meat! Ah! Ah! Look at the meat! Ah! Ow! Ah! 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 Hey, um, I can't see it. Can I? Oh, but look at what happens. Look at what happens. Look what happens to non-believers. Ow! No. Okay. There. There's your f***ing meat getty. Congratulations. I hope you're happy. <laughs> Alright, so next step, we're going to wrap some of this cheese in orzo. Why? Not entirely sure. I told you to get your bad gloves. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> I bought them. <laughs> All right, I'm free balling this. Do this the old way. Do this like our forefathers did it. Oh, it's not sticky enough. You're not sticky enough. This is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> now? Now it's dumb? Just now it became dumb. <laughs> Saran what saran wrap trick? You gotta like, no, no, like you put them in like that and you put in saran wrap and then you just twist it. Oh, like a beef wellington? It squeezes the ball, yeah. you know? Okay, we're gonna try Alvin's spooky saran wrap trick. I don't think that's how you do it. Shh. Okay, thanks Alvin. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the input. I don't think that's how you roll an orzo ball for the first time in recorded history. <laughs> Uh, I have two orzo balls wrapped up in plastic wrap. This is what you want, right? 100%. And I'm gonna put these in the fridge. The other two, I'm gonna wrap in pasta to see if I can deep fry them and f myself and die. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just kind of pressing this together into a stupid, dumb ball. Okay, now this has to go straight into a deep fat fry. Which we didn't preheat. Folks, the oil's preheated, so now we're gonna try to fry us a spag bowl. Come with me, won't you? 350, that seems about right. Let's very carefully drop it in and kind of guide it into, oh, okay, don't care for that. Let's get this out of here, there we go. Very carefully now. Ooh, spag bowl. Nope, don't like that, don't care for that, okay. Uh fine. Everything's fine. I kind of want to add a binder to this, man, because I don't know how he did it, but this just completely fell apart. <gasps> what, if, what if you put it in one of the tea diffusers and help in that? Jeez. That's a really good idea. That's really good, Thank Jess. You. Thank you, everybody. Oh, look at that nonsense. Look at that hot nonsense. Okay, I'm going to turn down the heat real low. And what we're gonna do is compose one of these balls inside a tea ball. Here's 
our first spag ball. It is uh, without a chain, so I'm gonna drop it in here. And I think we're ready to go. Let's drop it in and see what happens. The chicken must be inside because it has a chain. It's frying, it is. It's frying right in there. If we can get just one, I'm very, very happy. Have you ever oh, had hot. meat getty with one spag ball though? Brad, shut the f actual f up. Let's take a look. I mean, it looks crispy inside of there. I'm gonna take it out. So in the meantime, what I have to do is heat up a little bit of sauce and a little bit of meat. Plop, a plop, a plop. Ooh, I got a crispy spag ball in my hand. And if you wanted to know where the chain went, it's into the middle of the spag ball. Ugh. Gruesome. There it is though. We got ourselves a spag ball. Nicely done, Jess, thank you. Let's twirl up some meat pasta, shall we? Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Right there. There is our meat getty. There, ooh, it's still hot, wow. And there is our spag ball. And then we're topping this up with micro basil. I mean, you really have managed to take an abomination and make it look like I didn't do anything, something. man. This is somebody else's recipe. What are you talking about? Well, you know, but you're, you've, you've executed it with the skill of a jazz musician. Well, August, this sure was interesting. Thank you so much for making the best of, it, of, of a terrible situation. That situation being meat getty and spag balls, which I'm very proud to say topped the thanks I hate it subreddit. <laughs> So you took that and turned it into a functional recipe. And that in and of itself is an accomplishment. Let's see what it tastes like, shall we? I think you get like a popcorn ball. Don't burn. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's releasing steam. It's fine, God. Thanks again to Native for sponsoring this episode. Native's plastic-free deodorant is the same formula as the regular deodorant, but with more sustainable packaging. The deodorant itself dries quickly and isn't sticky. It's vegan, aluminum-free, and paraben-free. They sent me scents like aloe and green tea and lavender and rose. I am partial to the former. As you can imagine, it gets pretty hot in our kitchen, so it's really nice to feel fresher throughout the day without reapplying. There's also limited edition and sensitive scents being released all the time. Lastly, Native gives you 24 hours of odor protection even after exercise. If you use my link and code BABISH, you'll get three plastic-free deodorants for $24, which is 40% off. You'll also get 25% off any body wash or toothpaste. The link is in the video description. <laughs> Alvin, I f***ing told you. <laughs> Buckle up. At this point, nothing can phase me. The poor man expected to come here under social circumstances. He wasn't expecting to be put on camera. This is social circumstances. He's right, put him on camera. <laughs> Welcome back to Anime with Alvin. <laughs> I'm your host, Mr. Poop. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, it doesn't take much with her, it doesn't take much. Ah! <laughs>